Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 1. Now, there was a certain man of Ramathaim, Sophim, of Mount Ephraim, and his name was Elkanah, the son of Yoro Ham, the son of Elihu, the son of Tohu, the son of Suf, and Ephrathi. And he had two women. The name of the one was Chana, and the name of the other, Pinana. And Penina had children, but Chana had no children. And this man went up out of his city yearly to worship and to sacrifice unto Yahuwah Savaoth in Shiloh. And the two sons of Eli, Chofini and Pinichach, the priests of Yahuwah, were there. And when the time was that Elkanah offered, he gave to Pinia, rather, Penina, his woman, and to all her sons and her daughters, portions. But unto Chana, he gave a worthy portion, for he loved Eth Chana, but Yahuwah had shut up her womb. And her adversary also provoked her sore, for to make her fret, because Yahuwah had shut up her womb. And as he did so year by year, when she went up to the house of Yahuwah, so she provoked her. Therefore she wept and did not eat. Then said Elkanah, her man, to her, Hannah, why do you weep? And why eat you not? And why is your heart grieved? Am not I better to you than ten sons? So Chana rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh, and after they had drunk. Now Eli, the priest, sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of Yahuwah. And she was in bitterness of soul, and prayed unto Yahuwah, and wept sore. And she vowed a vow, and said, O Yahuwah, Savahot, if you will indeed look on the affliction of your handmaid, and remember me, and not forget Eth your handmaid, but will give unto your handmaid a male child, then I will give him unto Yahuwah all the days of his life, and there shall no razor come upon his head. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before Yahuwah, that Eli marked Eth her mouth, now Chana, she spoke in her heart, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she had been drunken. And Eli said unto her, How long will you be drunken? Put away eth your wine from you. And Chana answered and said, No, my lord, I am a woman of a sorrowful ruach. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out eth my soul before Yahuwah. Count not eth your handmaid for a daughter of Belial, for out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace, and the Elohim of Yashadael grant you eth your petition that you have asked for. And she said, Let your handmaid find grace in your sight. So the woman went her way, and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. And they rose up in the morning early, and worshipped before Yahuwah, and returned and came to their house to Ramah. And Elkanah knew Ethchanah his woman, and Yahuwah remembered her. Wherefore it came to pass, when the time was come about after Chana had conceived, that she bore a son, and called at his name Shemuel, saying, Because I have asked him of Yahuwah. And the man Elchanah 
and all his house went up to offer Eth unto Yahuwah the yearly sacrifice, and Eth his vow. But Chana went not up, for she said unto her man, I will not go up until the child be weaned, and then I will bring him, that he may appear Eth before Yahuwah, and there abide forever. And Elchanah, her man, said unto her, Do what seems you good. Tarry until you have weaned him. Only Yahuwah establisheth his word. So the woman abode and gave Eth her son Suck until she weaned him. And when she had weaned him, she took him up with her with three bullocks and one ephah of flour and a bottle of wine and brought him unto the house of Yahuwah in Shiloh. And the child was young. And they slew Eth a bullock and brought Eth the child to Eli. And she said, O oh, my Lord, as your soul lives, my Lord, I am the woman that stood by you here, praying unto Yahuwah. For this child I prayed. And Yahuwah has given me eth my petition, which I asked of him. Therefore also I have lent him to Yahuwah. As long as he lives, he shall be lent to Yahuwah. And he worshipped Yahuwah there. <laughs>